Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking today. I have the pleasure to introduce you to MIDI Effect Pro. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and um, have an opportunity to own a copy of this app, please do follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. So we are running MIDI Effect Pro inside in an iPad um, standalone, as uh, you can see. And uh, it's really a MIDI workstation. One of those apps that allows you to do a lot of different things with different modules. Uh, it has also internal sound generators, which is really great. It works on uh, iOS. It works also on a Mac as well. So let's have a look at it a little bit. So as you can see here, you have uh, some settings to receive sync and transport or to send sync and transport which you can enable you can use the background audio midi through establish the tempo also the q play length and of course reset the internal audio engine here is where you can define the midi endpoints you can see i have some of those already enabled and uh, i have also connected an external wireless controller so that uh, I can use that for demonstration purposes. Here I have a little bit of help with some examples which come really nice. Then um, a little bit of information with latest news and then your shop link. On the top right hand side you can create a new project, export, import, lock the module and add modules and then at the bottom you can play and stop. So why don't we click new, select OK, and let's start to add some module. So let's click on add. As you can see, um, this is the window where you can add modules. And they are um, categorized uh, or grouped into different categories. So let's kick off with uh, um, some MIDI sources. And let's start very simply with this piano module. You can uh, click and hold and um, you have access to deleting it or removing the module here, access some of the help here, which uh, comes really handy, like so. Then you can also go to the settings, like so, where you can change the octave in this case and the velocity. And you can also drag and drop and you can use pinch in and out to zoom in and you can also double click on the module to focus on it and double click again to unfocus from it. Okay, or zoom in, zoom out uh, in terms of the particular module. So this is a little keyboard and I can press on it uh, to enable some of the keys. Of course, at the moment it's not doing anything because it's not connected to anything. So let's click on the plus sign again and let's scroll. Let's scroll to find something like a generator. Here we go, audio generation. You have a different option, and I'm going to show you just a simple one with a vintage piano. Now, there it is. Now you can click, drag, and drop like so, and you connect the two. Again, you don't hear any sounds because the vintage piano is not connected to the output, but of course you can see MIDI events or triggers uh, going through and you see these lines which is flashing as I click on the keys of the keyboard. Okay, let's click on the plus sign again. Now let's scroll down again and uh, let's go to the same category, audio generation, and let's scroll down again and you will find stereo output. There it is. So let's connect the stereo output like so. And now let's play. Okay, so that is how simple it is to actually um, connect the different modules. Of course, you can click on the X like so, X again, and then you can click and hold and remove that if you wish so. And then you can go back and add other modules. So why not? Let's... Um, go and try something different, like, for example, this uh, duo synth. So let's drag and drop here, and let's establish the connection, like so. Perfect. And of course, let's reduce the level a little bit. Okay. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, so and here you have additional setting for pitch, the cutoff, attack, release, glide. You can change the type of waveform underneath, like so. 
So that's really nice. But the power of uh, this comes also using some uh, additional MIDI sources. So in this case, we can say external MIDI communication, we can click on it, and that is already there. Now we need to connect these uh, to the oscillator. We could remove this connection and connect the MIDI input directly to this oscillator. So let's try, like so. And now I'm using my external controller, my Akai, and you can see it works. Or you can combine the two, and this is where the power of the app comes. So click on the plus sign. Again, scroll down. Let's go to um, uh, let's go MIDI routers, and let's go to merger. And now what we do, we put this merger here. So we connect uh, the piano like so, and then we disconnect these and connect it to the input of the MIDI merger and then the output of the MIDI merger to the oscillator. Now, if I press some keys, let's reorganize it a little bit better, like so. If I press some keys uh, on my external controller, is playing the oscillator, so you see the MIDI messages coming through and going into this merger and then going to the oscillator and then to the output, of course. And if I press here keys on the internal keyboard, so it works as well. So that is really clever. So this is just a quick introduction on the MIDI Effect Pro. This is the unlock version. And I hope you enjoyed and I will create other tutorials. And as always, see you next time. Bye.